Hello and welcome back. Let's talk about storage in No Man's Sky, as a lot has changed but it's not all negative by any means. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, your cargo and normal storage slots have been combined on your exosuit, ships, freighters and exocraft, and split into cargo and technology. Unfortunately, technology can no longer be placed in the inventory slots, which means that you're slightly more limited in the number of active expansion modules for each piece of technology. So. Although this does mean that you can currently only have three upgrade modules, C, B, A, S or X class, active for each tech, not including the craftable upgrades purchased from the tech vendors in the anomaly, there is a beautiful new button that enables you to pick up and store any place technology. I feel this has been rather overlooked and is a way cooler feature than we first thought. Say for example that you previously rolled a stonker of a module when equipping a tech on a ship or a multi-tool that you then realised would have preferred on another ship or MT. This button gives you that option to move and store any tech module, including entire buildable tech packages like the ship rocket launcher, so that you can always make your perfect build and never lose your awesome finds. You want to know what else is cool? You can stack the modules of the same type into stacks of 10. Anyway, back to storage. So a maxed out exosuit now has the ability to contain 60 tech slots and a massive 120 inventory slots, which you must admit is pretty awesome. So although you'll need to have a play around with the different modules to recreate your best layout, it does also mean that you have plenty of space and protection even on permadeath. For example, you can install three hazard modules for each of the four hazard types, plus the buildable hazard module for each type. Then on top of that, you can add three X-class hazard protection modules, which can each have a maximum of plus 10 protection for each of the four hazard types. In terms of shields and movement, you can install three of the expansion modules for each, plus the buildable upgrades, and a further three Forbidden Exosuit modules, which will help boost the stats for movement and life support. You can get these Forbidden modules from killing sentinels and harvesting the glass they drop. Please see the video in the pinned comment for an easy sentinel farming method that involves no sentinel fighting. Although all of this doesn't make you totally invincible, it will give you the pretty damn good chance of protecting yourself against a flotilla of Korvax, the meanest horde of Viking, or even a solitary Gek armed only with a spoon. Now, within the exosuit, there is the issue of the irritating scroll bar in the inventory slots once you upgrade past a certain number, and the massive zoomy mouse over, but I'm sure HG will be onto this like a geck in a nip bib shop, so I wouldn't worry too much just yet. Okay, onto ships. You can have nine different ships in your collection, and each one has the ability to have, you guessed it, 60 tech slots and 120 inventory slots. So that gives a whopping 540 tech slots and 1080 inventory slots across all of your ships. So plenty of storage. Yes, you will face the same issue with the technology only being able to be built into your ship tech slots. So do ensure you have more than one weapon type and a good stack of shield batteries in case you get some damage whilst in pirate attacks. The most irritating aspect of the Chandra ships has been the nerf to warp distance. Although you will still want to look for explorers with the highest hyperdrive bonus at S-Class of 181 light years to max this stat, you can now only have three hyperdrive upgrade modules installed on top of the buildable hyperdrive tech. This has severely reduced the maximum warp distance of even the best S-Class explorer. Now, there is a little bit of respite for those of us wanting to walk long distances, as don't forget about your little old freighter. This beast has also been given 60 tech slots and 120 inventory slots, but there are also more buildable hyperdrive modules available for the freighters, meaning that you can still get just under 5,000 light years warp range with the maximum roll modules. Please see the second video in the pinned comments for where you can get your S-Class 250 light year max hyperdrive bonus modules. Now I realise that this is probably the most grindy task to obtain a full freighter tech and inventory, as now you will need a ton of freighter bulkheads. However, I do think HG will have realised this, and will probably find these more readily available from the Nexus and Space Station missions. Aboard your freighter you can also build storage containers. Combine these with the freighter matter beam, and as long as your freighter is in the same system, you'll have constant access to all of your storage, and that is a lot as each storage container has now been expanded to 50 slots, and there are 10 of these bad boys available to build, giving a total of 500 additional storage slots. Whilst we're still on the freighter, there is also the ingredient storage, which tends to be forgotten about. This can either be accessed from the purpose-built room aboard the freighter, or from your mobile nutrient processor. Just whip it out and pop it down to take advantage of the expanded 50 slots of storage for all your yummy baked goodies and raw ingredients. You don't want to squish that wriggling tart between too many ancient bones. Just when you are thinking, GG, this is already a motherload of storage, 
We still have the extra crafts. The No Banner Pilgrim have been each given 26 tech slots and 30 storage slots. The Roma, Nautilus and Minotaur have been given 28 tech slots and 40 storage slots. And the Colossus has been given a mighty 30 tech slots and 50 storage slots. So all in all, I think HG have been pretty damn generous with the new layouts. And although there will be some teething problems, it will take a little bit of getting used to. On a max save, you'll now have a huge grand total of 318 technology slots available and 2060 storage slots, which I think is fair to say more than enough for any little gek. Hopefully this has been helpful and insightful, and don't forget to check out the guides in the pinned comment or at the end of this video. That's all for now, I've been GG and thanks for watching. See ya!